we hear from? Your past is a gift. Well, it's been ages and ages since Sorry, I'm on a squeaky chair today, so if you hear funny farting noises, it's actually with a chair, it's not me. But, you know, for all the kids out there watching, they'll probably have a good giggle every time I move around and it squeaks. So, um, okay. A lot of the videos that I do are just observations. I'm just observing the world around me and I'm just sharing those observations. For those of you who walk through life with your eyes closed you know you're not looking at anything around you and this is it for you you know it's like you, you feel like you're sleepwalking through it and you don't feel like you're getting anywhere and so many of these observations you know when I stop and I really study something I really look at it from all the different angles and sometimes listening to what other people are telling me like my husband who has a completely different point of view about the world you know, so sometimes I'll share those ideas as well, because it's not just the way I look at the world. You know, everybody's looking at the world, coming from their experience of, you know, how the world has been so far. Anyway, so I had all these videos jotted down of things, and today I wanted to start with judgment. You know, how easy it is to judge something easy it is coming from where we are at you know so the example I had okay something that I've been through recently with my daughter and I learn so much from her I'm just constantly learning from her you know discovering and rediscovering what life is all about because as adults we think and we process very differently to how children do so the experience I wanted to share that I just found was so important, you know. Recently we were at the park, you know, and she had invited a friend. And just in case that friend didn't come, I had invited another friend, you know. Because usually you'll invite one and then they might not respond for a few hours and by the time they do, we've kind of missed the whole thing. So this time I thought, I'll invite two or three at the same time and hopefully someone will show up. Anyway, so this dear friend showed up, this dear little thing, and they spent a good hour playing. They were very happy playing until the other friend showed up. And what happened was, I've been on every play date my daughter's had, you know, at the park or at a friend's house or, you know, she's not at that age yet where she says to me, Mum, you can go now. <laughs> I don't need you here. You know, she always wants me to be a part of it. And I love the parents so much that I really love hanging around, you know, and catching up with them while, you know, my daughter's playing with her friends. So we've managed to make friendships on both sides. So she has with her little friends and I have with the parents, you know, and I really enjoy having that quality time with them. So anyway, this second little friend shows up, you know, an hour later. And what happened? My daughter decided, okay, I don't want to play with this first little friend anymore. I'm going to play now with this second friend. And I'm not going to include this first friend in anything, you know? And I had been on all her play dates and I had never, ever seen her do this, ever. From very little, from the youngest age, whoever was there, they all played together. They were all included. You know, I'd never seen her do this. And this little girl left the park so upset that day. She was crying and hollering that, you know, what my daughter had done was mean and, oh, she's so mean and I don't want to be her friend anymore and all this carrying on as she left, you know. And I was quite upset <laughs> because I'd never seen her behave in this way. And I was trying to explain to her that that's not right. You know, that you don't treat people that way. It hurts their feelings, it's not nice. You know, if you call this person your friend, then you don't treat them that way. And I tried so, so hard to get her to apologize, you know, to either before she left, so at least she could leave feeling a little bit better, you know, this other friend, or, you know, at least she might've decided to stay and all three of them could have played. But she absolutely downright refused. And this is so unlike my daughter to do that you know both to treat this child in this way and to refuse to apologize or to see that 
that she had done something that was hurting someone's feelings. You know, it wasn't the, I didn't want to label it as doing something wrong, you know, but that her behaviour was causing this little girl pain and grief. You know, she was very upset. Now, I was really upset with my daughter that day because I thought I have never taught her to behave in that way. Never. And I had never seen her behave in that way or treat someone else in that way. But then what happened? We had a Christmas party at the same park and there were lots of kids because all the kids from our street were invited. It was a wonderful event. I love going to it every year because you catch up with all the neighbours and sometimes they're neighbours that you hardly see anymore. You know, you might just see them at that event, but it's really nice just to catch up and see how they're going. And, you know, I'm, you know, we were there for about three hours. And what happened? I witnessed that little friend do exactly that to my daughter. You know, she played with her for five, ten minutes. We're happy to play with her, with my daughter. But as soon as one of her other friends came, she stopped talking to my daughter altogether. And she stopped including her in any of, she wouldn't include her in any of the games, even though I was watching my daughter ask her, can I please play with you both? Can I play? Can I be included? And unfortunately, the group of people that were there, they were the only three girls of the same age. All the others were either much older kids or much younger kids. So my daughter really didn't have anyone else to play with, you know? So the options were to either stay or to come home. You know, she got terribly upset. But the funny thing was, my daughter didn't get terribly upset until the end, you know, where this had been going on for like an hour now. And she said, let's go home, you know, and she was upset. And it didn't occur to me until that moment that maybe this little girl has always been doing this to my daughter. My daughter's been putting up with this, you know, since the beginning of the year because they're at the same school, in the same grade, luckily in different classes. They're not in the same classroom. But I asked her that night, <clears throat> we're having a bath, you know, and I'm sitting there with her and it hit me. I said to her, you know, to my daughter, does she do this to you all the time? And then she said, yes, she does it with so-and-so. If we're playing, you know, and so-and-so shows up in the playground, she'll just take off with that person and she won't include me and she'll stop talking to me, you know, or there were about five different people that she mentioned that this girl would just take off with them and ignore my daughter altogether. And I thought, here I was, you know, that day, so upset with her because of her behavior. How easy was it to judge that she was doing the wrong thing when this was the first time I'd seen her do it and yet she'd been putting up with this behavior the whole year. But in her eyes, it was perfectly normal to do it to this girl because this girl had been doing it to her the whole year long. The whole year since the year started from February. And we're now in November. Many, many times in the playground and my daughter had never ever mentioned that this girl does this to her. She never said it until that day. And when she started naming all the kids <laughs> that she'll just drop her and go off to play with, I thought, oh, this isn't a one-off. This is a behavior that's being created over and over and over. And so to her, this was normal. Oh, this is how you treat that friend because she won't do it to anyone else. She'll only do it to her. And I've only seen her do it once. And then I was wondering why, when I ask her, she doesn't want to play with this girl at school. Because I ask her all the time, you know, do you play with this girl? No. But I play with so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so and she's taken to these two twins, these twins that have come from overseas, and they don't know the language well. And they didn't know anybody at the school. They were completely new to the school. And so because she had taken to them and she was spending a lot of time playing with them and making them feel welcome, I thought, oh, well, you know, she's doing something nice for someone else. I have to leave it. Okay, then, you know, why she doesn't want to play with that girl? Up until now, I didn't know, <laughs> you know. But of course, if someone's constantly making you feel bad, making you feel unwanted, making you feel, you know, that, oh, you're good for five minutes, but I'm done with you now. You can, you know, I'm more interested in playing with this person. 
then of course after a while you lose interest and I don't want to be a part of that. You know, we don't want to be around things that make us feel bad. That's the truth of it. And so next time you stop and you're about to judge something, stop yourself, stop yourself before you even take that step. And really think about it. Because you're looking at it from your point of view. Of, oh, that's a horrible thing to do. That's what I was thinking that day. That's a horrible thing to do to someone else, you know, to play with them for five minutes and then someone new comes and, oh, no, I don't need you anymore. Bye. <laughs> you know, I haven't grown up with that. I didn't know what that was. And to me, that looked awful. But she had grown used to, this is how she was treated by this person. So, it's normal to do that to them. You know? And that goes with everything in life. We might think that something is horrible. We might think that it's unacceptable. But to that person, if that's all they've received, and that's what they're used to, and to them, that is normal, then maybe we need to take a step back. We need to take a step back. And accept that maybe, just maybe, they're doing that for a reason. my darlings i love you guys so good to be back all right remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now